one of the most frequently asked questions to me is how can I see what is the level of spiritual progress that I can achieve? Can I see it from astrology? Can I see it from my chart? Can my chart say, will I obtain very high spiritual progress? Well, the answer is yes or no. Spiritual progress is awarded. It cannot be obtained. All right. Spiritual progress is awarded by the Supreme Personality of God at Sri Bhagavan Vishnu himself. And you cannot drag it. You cannot demand it. You cannot buy it. You cannot purchase it. <laughs> All right. This is the good and the bad, but in general, it's good because if you are sincere, then God surely rewards you with spiritual progress. Okay. And using astrology, you cannot identify that. That is not possible. But, but there's a but here. But there are certain things in astrology which can tell you that the person is working towards it. Either the person gets it or not, that's uh, not possible to identify. But you will certainly see that in today's society. You see big spiritual leaders or even if you try to see in the past, they will have these numbers and these combinations and these placements in their date of birth and in their horoscope. So you will see that because that is a proof that this person might have put some efforts in that direction in this life in the and also in their previous lifetimes. Okay. So that means they have done their part and maybe God has blessed them. Okay, But again, if somebody has these, uh, it, it's not a guarantee that they will become very spiritual or they are very spiritual. You will find this these placements in, you know, crooks, thugs, murderers, cheaters, liars, everybody. Okay, in highly materialistic people, in highly spiritual people also. But if you are seriously doing spiritual practices and if you also have these numbers and combinations then it means that in your previous lifetimes you have really worked very hard and you are most likely going to work hard also in this lifetime so use this as a guiding light all right number one very 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 important number one is about your numerology which is your date of birth alone so in that if you have three seven and nine all the three combined or you have three seven seven nine or three nine then uh, this is very good or if your destiny number, which is your sum of your date of birth, that is, you know, 3 or 7 or 9, then also it is very good. And when you are talking of numerology, single numbers, individual numbers, don't include the first two digits of the year because most of the people watching this video are born in the 1900s. So the 1 and 9 you cannot include. So you cannot say everybody has 9. So, you know, yeah, I mean, everybody has 9, right? Because 3 in numerology is Jupiter uh, and 7 is... K2 and 9 is Mars and in numerology these three are the significators of spirituality and you can see this in most of the famous uh, spiritual personalities you can see this in um, Sadhguru Jagi Vasudev you can see this in uh, Ravi Shankarji uh, Shri Shri Ravi Shankarji and uh, Srila Prabhupada you can see uh, if you add his date of birth that, that is uh, 7 so he's a destiny number 7 now you can see this in Swami Vivekananda's case, you, you will find, you know, 3, 7, 9, they are there, all right? Number 2, this is very important. Now, we the rest is about astrology, okay? Number 2 is your Lagna Lord is connected to both the trines. Okay, now what are the trines? The trines are the 5th and the ninth houses. So, if your Lagna, Lagna Lord, which is your Lagnesh, the Lord of the 1st house, is sitting with the Lords of the 5th and the ninth or they are getting aspected by these two, two lords, and then it shows you, you are somehow in tune with your own nature and divinity, and you are doing your best, okay? But again, as I said, either that happens or not, that is between you and God, okay? But this is one of the best placements to have, or it could be like this, so the Lagnesh and fifth lord are together, and the ninth lord is aspecting, or Lagnesh and ninth lord are conjunct, and the fifth lord is aspecting. So either ways, if the Lagnesh is related to both the two planets, uh, then fantastic. Or even if one planet, okay, one trinal lord is involved, then also this is a fantastic combination to have. But more the better, okay. And adding to this, if this, this combination or this uh, mutual aspect is in a Kendra or a Trikon, then this is like mind-boggling, mind all right. Number three. Well placed Ketu in the 12th house, but supported by Jupiter or Lords of the Trines. What does this mean? It means Ketu is in the 12th house, okay, but Jupiter is aspecting it, or the 5th Lord or 9th Lord is aspecting. See, Ketu in 12th can give you misery, 
by stripping any things from you or it can give you detachment healthy detachment like you know you are not too obsessed about material things okay there is there is not there is not that if ketu is in 12th and not aspected by guru or the trainer lords it can give you misery by stripping things away from you and it will give you a lot of pain it's a very difficult placement ketu in 12 one of the worst placements but if you have jupiter or the trainer lords aspect then even if you have these problems things are taken away from you you are stripped uh, from wealth pleasure relationships and all this then you kind of understand that there is a greater vision behind all this you know maybe there is some higher plan and this is a part of your own karma and this will eventually make you very spiritual okay so if ketu is just in the 12 people say moksha karak i disagree with that and this can make your life very miserable but if ketu is well supported by these planets you can see you can see behind what's going on okay number 4 great jupiter which is in you know now great jupiter means it is in a uh, digbal it's in a good dignity you know well supported so the greater the better so for example if you are a cancer lagna guru is in lagna so guru is in digbal and also it is exalted okay so this means you you have very high capacity for gaining spiritual wisdom and if you gain then you are most likely to act on it also all right but this has to be very well supported by house by sign and also in the navamsha very 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 important don't just see the d1 just also see the d9 okay uh, so therefore it is very rare you will very rarely find um, a cancer ascendant with guru in lagna and also guru well placed in the d9 you know very 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 rarely you will find okay so therefore the more uh, the better your jupiter is the better your capacity to connect to the divine source but through house sign and the d9 all the three okay number 5 you should have good trinal houses to so good trine so your fifth lord ninth lord they are well placed they are in kendra they are uh, well placed sign wise and they are not afflicted by malefics okay so the fifth house is the student within you and the ninth house is the guru within you okay so if the ninth house is strong you can guide others and if the fifth house is strong <clears throat> you know you can take guidance from others okay so either ways uh, giving knowledge getting knowledge you know this uh, exchange of knowledge is very effortless for you for a person or maybe there are you know great planets in the fifth house you know like jupiter venus moon mercury natural benefits you know then also this is a great blessing all right so therefore the trines are most important don't forget the trines okay number 6 this is classic a great navamsha now what does it mean to have a great navamsha well that's a very long discussion i have videos on navamsha vishti lars and ji had come to my channel and discussed elaborately on the navamsha so please go and watch navamsha videos in my channel i cannot discuss that now but a person who has a great d9 shows uh, it actually tells that this person has spent many many lifetimes working upon themselves on their insecurities fears and weaknesses and the more this person has worked the more this person has uh, seen the reality okay because if you are true to yourself you can see reality very easily okay you don't need uh, like you know big things to see reality so and a person who is in touch with reality that person can very easily see god it's not very difficult okay god not in the sense literally that you can see god but you can see god's hand in everything okay so therefore if your navamsha is strong then you are exceptionally blessed or rather you have worked it you have worked on it and that is why you are blessed okay it is because you are of your own self efforts now number 7 if your 12th lord is supported by trines okay this this is this is like a situation where you will be able to understand that at the end ultimately everything is going to end okay otherwise if the 12th lord is not supported by trines you you kind of keep continue to feel miserable about losing things about you know letting go of things it is similar to ketu in the 12th okay but if your 12th lord is supported by the trines then you understand that ultimately everything will anyways fall everything will collapse i will anyways lose everything okay so therefore this is a great placement to have now number 8 if the lord of dusthanas are connected to lord of trines then this can show you have self control you have worked on yourself 
you know, you have control over your sex desire, your greed, your, you know, karma, krodha, lova, moha, madha, matsarya, all these, you know, envy, you don't gossip, you don't, you know, uh, just uh, keep going around with the opposite sex, you know, you are not just, you know, scamming others in cause of money. So, you have sense control to a large extent, okay, nobody can be 100% self-sense controlled. That only uh, Vishnu can be. God, Narayana is the only one who is 100% self-controlled and nobody else, all right? So, uh, but in general, you have very good sense control. You know, you know where, where to draw the line. You know, you know dharma, you know mariyada, you know all these things, okay? And therefore, this means you have worked very hard on yourself and you can go to the next level now. Very, very, very important. Number nine, this is interesting. Jupiter connected to your moon or ascendant. So if Jupiter is connected to your moon, then this can give you very good experiences in Bhakti Yoga. And this can help you to connect to God at an emotional level. And Lord Krishna says, you know, Bhakti Maim Param Kritva, it is uh, Bhakti Yoga is the top post of all the other yoga system like, you know, uh, Karm Yoga, uh, Gyan Yoga, Ashtang Yoga, you know, then Bhakti Yoga. So very, very, very important because uh, Bhakti Yoga is the ultimate connection between you and the divine. Okay, so if you have that, or even if you have with your ascendant, it's still good. Okay, but with the moon, it is the best. Okay, undoubtedly, it is number one. And number 10, Lagna Lord of D1, well placed in primary divisional charts. Now, what is this? The Lagna Lord of your D1. So, suppose in your D1, you are Taurus ascendant. So, Check Venus in all other divisional charts. In primary divisional charts, if Venus is well placed, this means you have you have kind of mastered yourself to a large extent in primary areas of your life. You know, especially if Venus is well placed in your D1 and in your D9, D10, and your D D60, to some extent in D12 also. But at least in D1, D9, D10, D60, if your Lagna Lord is well placed, then it means you have good understanding about the prominent areas of your life, okay? The more, the better, okay? And that means you have had the knowledge, experience, and you have become mature. And because of that, you have this placement, all right? So, thank you very much for your patience. As I said, uh, these placements do not guarantee spiritual progress. But if you have them, they are great. They are, they are uh, I mean, you can use this to your advantage, okay? And you will be benefited if you are serious and you show your sincerity to God. All right. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new. And see you again soon. Jai Siya Rao. Thank you.